Welcome to the Eye on Annapolis Local Business Spotlight. There are thousands of locally owned businesses in the area, some small and some large. Some you may know and others you don't. But one thing they all have in common is a great story, and we want to share it with you. Join us every Saturday as we talk to the founders, the owners, and the managers of local businesses you have come to know and love, and those you will come to know and love. Now here's your host, John Frenet, with this week's Local Business Spotlight. I would like to say that we're sitting here in Sweet Frog, the ice cream <laughs> shop, but we're not. We're sitting here with Reminiscent Lux Candle Lounge, and we're talking with Ashley Scales, who is the owner. How are you today? I am doing well. You're not quite open yet, because I do see boxes all around here. Yes. And the date is going to be Saturday, what would that be, the 4th? December 4th, yes. That would be awesome. Well, you are a new store coming into the Annapolis Town Center. You are located right underneath Target. Best location ever. Um, it, it really is. You, <laughs> if you get hungry, you look out the front window and you see True Food Kitchen right, right there. So that's not too bad. And you're bringing what I think is a neat new concept into Annapolis. Yes. And uh, we will go and say that you are, at this point, a pop-up. Yes. Um, because there, are, as with any retail location anywhere across the country, there are some vacancies. So this is a great time for an entrepreneur such as yourself to be able to come out and try the waters and see how... It's it's perfect. As much as I thought this would have to be around my five-year plan, it is now my third-year plan. So this is amazing. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing is wrong with speeding up. Well, the website, let's get the business out of the way. The website is reminiscentlux.com, and yes, that is R E M I N I S C E N T L U X E with the end of it. Yes. Dot com. And this is a candle lounge, candle salon. Yes. So I can come in here and purchase some wonderful scented candles. You can do more than that. What I can, you what, can, okay, so what can I do? You can purchase candles, or you can make your own candle. The goal of Reminiscent Lux is to give you the DIY experience of a lifetime. So you pick your jar, you pick your fragrance, any of those little toppings that you may see like lavender buds or rose petals or anything, you make your candle to your standards. Okay, you know, now this is exactly what I'm talking about that Annapolis <laughs> needs. You know, this is a funky, unique type of a situation. You're not selling any t-shirts here. Well, maybe you've got some merch. I don't know. Right. But I mean, it's, it's know, coming. I mean, it's you're coming. Not a, you're not a t-shirt shop that's that's coming in just to sell to that. And and this is a unique experience. This yes. is not just, you know, come in. I mean, you're this is a destination. You're coming in to make some candles. You're making a product. Uh, right. It's a, it's a great gift. I mean, it's it's a it's a homemade gift from the heart, if you will. No, really. Uh, I make all of my candles. That sounds like a Hallmark card, a gift from the heart or something <laughs> <Yes>. like that. <laughs> I, it's made with blood, sweat, and tears and from my heart. And I was on your website, and I saw your mission. Is The mission of Reminiscent Lux is to create spaces all over the world, and homes, pop-ups, retail spaces. Um, that's all marketing fluff there. Right. Um, where consumers can reminisce and celebrate the essence of, now here's where it gets kind of funky on me, 90s R&B hip-hop culture with the lighting of every RL candle. Yes. So where does this hip-hop R&B culture come in? So I was born in 85. So I am well rehearsed so you are in the 90s, right? <laughs> I, I may be a baby, but I think I got a good, you know, soul, an older soul. I like going back to the 70s and the 80s mu music, hence why I like their samples in the 90, 90s music. Um, so with each candle on your label, you would have a QR code that when you scan it, it takes you to a playlist that will give you about an hour and a half of music to vibe with that candle. That's really cool. How do you how do you curate that? So I on Saturday mornings, it, it was a ritual when, when I was growing up. You wake up, you clean up your house, you have your music going. Um, we would light our candles to make sure the house smelled like bleach, uh, pine saw, and then something fresh. Okay. And horrible it, sense for candles. I know, right? <laughs> but it, it's still you knew your house was clean. Right. So then you would light your candle so you can kind of wash that like clean, clean scent out. Right. And the music just came apart from that. That's how I knew to clean up on Saturdays to have my music going. So when I would light my candles, I wanted to incorporate my music somehow. How'd you get into candle making? So it's a funny story. I was with my friend um, and my husband was looking for something and he found this huge bookcase of candles that I was hoarding. 
And anytime I went to a, a store, Marshalls, whatever, if I liked that scent, I would just wipe out the shelf because I couldn't find it when I wanted it. I just needed to have it on hand. So he comes and he's like, babe, you have a, a big problem. Right, right. We, need, we need to talk right, to somebody Right, we need to talk. <laughs> and my friend was like, well, you're crafty. Why don't you make them? I'm like, Who, who's doing that? And she was like, no, I think you totally can kill this. And so a year of testing is when I was like just trying to make one scent. And eventually I got it and I was, it, it worked. But then people were like, well, where did you get this candle from? And I was like, oh, I made it. I can make one for you. And it turned into something that I was like, oh, this is fun. Maybe I should sell it. But I didn't want to just be candles. I wanted it to have an Ashley feel to it. And that's how the QR code came apart. And the R&B and the, yes. and the music. So is music in your soul? Of course. It's going to be everywhere. It's it's pictures hanging up in my wall and at, at our home. It's when any time that anyone rides with me in the car, if there's a song that comes on, it's trivia. Where was this sample Where? from? What movie did it come from? It's always going to be a part of me. It's funny. You talk about trivia. I was just playing in a trivia game one time, and a friend of mine who happens to be an attorney was, the question was like, what? year did this album come right. out and uh stumpers we we, lo- we, we lost <laughs> yeah. the question and right. he being the lawyer that he was took him to took the dj to task and was going no 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 and because he didn't specify in the u.s or the uk because uh-huh. it had come out like the month before in the uk and he right. somehow knew that <laughs> and uh argued and was like okay fine you know, we'll get right. i but, may not go that deep but i will be able to tell you United States facts. <laughs> <laughs> now, we are sitting here in the space that uh, is being put together as we speak, which is very exciting. Uh, I imagine that when I come in here on December 4th, there's going to be music playing. There's going to be music playing. Um, not, too, not too loud. We don't want to, you know, <laughs> mess up. Boy. Right. We don't want to mess anybody up on, on the outside. But yes, it's going to at least have the ambiance of what I, I want to give out of what I love. Now, your candles that you're making, what do you? What sense do you make? I mean, how do you come up? I mean, are these oils and essences that you put in? Or of course, it's it's a little bit of my juices inside, <laughs> but all of the candles that I make all clean scented. If it has a clean base, I love it. I spend uh, hours upon hours trying to put together the the scents from essential oils, some fragrance oils, just to make sure that when you do light the candle, you are not getting that headache that you typically get um, because either they're overpowering or they're just made with toxic ingredients. So I want to make sure that a candle that you light is clean, but then also gives you a it reminds you of something of your childhood or where you were or a song that you used to love. And it just gives back a good memory. You know, it's funny. Scent is such a strong emotion uh, and scent is not really the emotion I get, but I mean, it, it brings up such strong emotions. I know uh, my grandmother used to wear a particular brand of perfume. Okay. And she's passed away for many, many years, but Every now and then, I will uh, pass some old lady in the store or something like that, and it'll be like... And you get a nice smile, like, right? Bam, there's grandma. You know, you're looking around. Is that grandma? Yes. And it's it's so it's so neat. Now, let's talk a little bit about candles as, I guess, the product. I mean, one thing that I don't like is you mentioned overpowering candles. Mm-hmm. And I mean, there are some stores that are there. You walk in, and it's just... You open the front door, and you're just absolutely floored with the bam. scent. right. And it's not even really a pleasant scent, because it's a mixture of... Like five... You know, Pine trees and flowers yeah. and cinnamon and apples and, you know, and, and, you know, maybe a little bit of funk from somebody's, you know, lunch in the refrigerator right. or something like that. But how do you make a candle that's a good quality candle? It starts with your base. It starts with your wax, what kind of wax you use. Uh, I think that candles are big now because of the knowledge of knowing that you should not just have a paraffin candle. That's how you get the, the really cheap candles. But, um, they burn quickly or the scent is too, too overpowering. Um, now there are candles that are, are clean based, which have soy or coconut or apricot or beeswax. All these candles are, are amazing. But if it's, it's so much science when making the candle, you have to make sure you know when to add the fragrance. When is it too hot or when is it too cold? Um, it's, it's so much math, so much science, but I think I've got it down packed. If you would love to smell them. I was kind of hoping. I'm sitting there looking at yeah. these jars. I'm like, 
Oh, wow. So that's that the is... green tea and cucumber that you're smelling. See, now I never see. I, I can never pick out scents like when they you're, they mix you're just stuff like my beer, husband. Beer, beer, <laughs> beer people say, "Oh yeah, you can smell the hints that, of chocolate." Right. And I'm like, "No, it no, smells like beer." Right. <laughs> uh, but that really does smell good. That smells clean and right, and nice and fresh. Uh, you know, like fresh washed clothes yes. or something. Along oh no, those lines. this but one it, is going to give you fresh washed clothes. Uh, okay. You never see me do laundry, so. Yeah, absolutely. This Fresh is, this, wash this, this is a dryer sheet. Right. <laughs> Why do you want that in your house so your house gets that smell clean? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. When you walk past a house outside and they're and the dryer is venting out. Exactly. That, that like I love one. that. <laughs> I love when I'm like, ooh, they they use downy. <laughs> that with uh, with like uh, fresh cut grass. I also yes. like that. That scent is kind of a neat thing. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about the build your own, do your own candles here. Now, how long does it take to do this? Is this something like a paint your own pottery where you have to come back in a week to pick it up? No, or? no, no, no. So the great thing about being here in Annapolis is that candle making actually is going to take about 30 to 45 minutes. It depends on how much fun you want to have. Um, but it will take at least an hour for them to cure. So that means that they need to adhere to the jar and then it'd be a solid so it can transport with you in your car. So being here, you can go to Target. You can go out to go get something to eat. You can shop around. You can do all these things and come right back and get your candle. How long do you have to wait to burn them? I would wait until the very next day. Okay, so don't go home. So and 24 hours pretty right. much and, and figure that out. Right. And how big do these candles go? I mean, these are little, um, so, I'll say these are, these are can, like can peas or right. can green like beans. Like salsa jars. Size. The, my candles are a eight ounce candle. The jars uh, that you would make here would give you about eight to 10 ounces. So you can have your candle for about a month because you, you still are using really good um, ingredients. Uh huh. Very cool. And now what is, what is the largest candle that you've made? My largest candle, a friend of mine wanted me to make one of those huge candles that sat on her fireplace. <laughs> I was like, I don't even think that that can be sent to you. So I think I've done maybe about 24 ounces. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's about what I'm seeing here in front right. of me. Right. I do. I do like those large ones with like the multi wicks. And yes. Stuff like that. They Everyone do, they wants do. a three wick candle. I think they're amazing, but I think that if you, once you learn like the, the do's and don'ts of actually keeping your candle, you'll realize that the one wick candle works just as great. Mm. So if you have good fragrance in, in your candle, the three wick candle, I mean, would fill up a whole house, right? That's what right. our mind thinks is that three wicks just should fill up my whole house. But if you trim your wick and you have it in a good standard place, so will that one. How long should they last? So because they're made with a coconut blend, you will have this candle if you light it every day for six hours a day for about a month and a half. For a month and a half? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just, and, and this is a podcast, so nobody can see this, but this is a maybe a three inch tall jar Yes. by maybe two and a half inches wide. Mm -hmm. And you said that we could burn that six hours a day mm -hmm. for 30 days. Yep. I've had customers come back. They will buy six or seven candles and I won't see them until the next quarter. Very cool. Yes. That's, you know, that, that's the, that's the nice thing when you get a candle that a burns clean and it's not putting the black soot up on your ceiling. Right. And, um, that, that will last yes. as opposed to, you know, I, I've had some cheap candles where you light them and, and they're I gone. Forget, and I walk the dog and it's, and you know, it's just gone. a bunch of liquid on the bottom. Yeah. And then I do the stupid boy thing and put my finger in the hot wax and peel it off and, <laughs> If you do that here, it, it will feel moisturizing. Oh, bonus. Bonus. <laughs> That's funny. Now, what else have you done besides, has candles been your career? Um, I actually have done an array of things. Um, after leaving college, I've been in PR. I've been graphic design. So the, the funny fact is, as most entrepreneurs, you find that you're doing every single job. You're, sure. you're doing the photography, you're doing your website, you're doing your Instagram, and you're making your product on top of trying to be a wife, a mother, a husband, whatever. I it, am a graphic designer, so I've done all of my labels. I've done my website. I have done <laughs> my Instagram. Literally everything comes well, your, from Your these past hands. experiences have really sort of led you to be able to, to do it all. Yes. I mean, hopefully at some point you're going to be able to not be doing it all. Right. I, mean, I would love to give it away. 
Um, no, I was also on your website again. I looked in, and you were talking about different classes. Obviously, we've got the classes in making candles. Yes. Uh, and, the, and the workshops and everything else. But it was talking about wreath making and charcuterie. Yes. So what the heck is that all? <laughs> so here, here's the other thing about me. I love a good craft night. If you come to my house or if you're you're hanging with me, we are going to do something crafty. So I wanted to bring that aspect to the store as well. So uh, because it's the holidays, why not? Let's do a reef class. I, I would do that at home. I would definitely sign up myself if I was a, a customer. Um, so we're going to do that on December the 12th. Well, what we can do, we can, we can go to reminiscentlux.com right. and that's on, that right. is that's on the there. website and the website is now live. So that's amazing too. Um, and then the charcuterie boards, I think that would be all things to gear you up. So if you're hosting, why not show off your, your new skills? You got something visual, you got something smellable and you yes. got something eatable. Everything here at Reminiscent Lux, we're a one-stop shop. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Now, how long are you popping up here for? I am here until January 15th. Okay, so you're through the full holidays. Yes. This is a, and candles, let's be honest, candles are a perfect gift, especially perfect. for, everybody has people on their list that you go, oh God, what the hell do I get right. them? Right. A <laughs> good this, stocking stucker. This is a perfect gift. Yes. Um, what do the retail prices of this? I mean, the class is what? The classes, so if you do the, the wax and wind down with us, that's about $50. The reef making and the charcuterie boards are about $65, I believe. Um, so I think that would be great if you, you and a friend come over. We supply all of the supplies, the, the ambiance. Um, I think we're going to have some cider here. <laughs> there you go. Right? And then the candles are twenty four ninety nine. So I think that those are perfect gifts, like you said. And then with the playlist, it's just the, the gift that keeps on giving. That's amazing. And got a cool little logo that Ashley designed up there yes. with the RL. Now, where did Reminiscent Lux come from? Just that, just a name that you would, a brand that you would thought would work? No, we did. I did a lot of hard work. Uh, I had, I've been making candles for three years now. And I used to be just designed by Ashley Scales, which is my name. Um, and that was an ode to my mom because my mom used to make jewelry and she did design by Diane. So after having these, this three year of candles, I had someone reach out to do a focus group to my customers and see what did they like about the candles? What didn't they like? What, how they felt when they burned them? All of the normal focus group questions. And apparently reminiscent was a word that came up often with all of the the customers. So I was like, well, that's great. Let's, let's use that. And that's how reminiscent looks came about. And then Lux us. Right. Because it's still a luxury experience. I'm looking at your fingernails. Do you do them yourself? <laughs> no, I wish. No, no, no. These these are still going to the salon for. <laughs> Everybody has to have their own expertise. Yes, correct? yes. Correct. I have to stay in my lane. <laughs> well, congratulations on opening the store. Now, you have been at other places. You've been down at National Harbor. Yes. Um, and I've in D.C., a couple of places. A couple of times in D.C., Um I've been with so many different organizations and I truly want to tell them thank you because without those moments, I would never have the the courage um, to even try to do this like a full on store by myself. It's it's a leap of faith, but it's it's a it's an exciting time. It, it, it really is. Oh, one big question, I guess, is that obviously I know that starting December 4th, we can come in here and we can purchase these candles. Yes, and, we and can you do can the party things. with me. Can we go and um, purchase these online? Yes, of course. Everything that's in store will be online. Okay. And you ship them right out if you're ship locally? Ship them out, and then you, or you can do local pickup. Oh. And come right back into the store and pick them up. Fantastic. What else do we need to know about Reminiscent Lux, Ashley? Um, know that this will be an experience when you walk through these doors. It will be giving you all of the 90s hip-hop and R&B culture that I know that I loved about the 90s. And that all of the candles were made with love. And I truly, truly want everyone that walks in to have an amazing time. It's really about the, the customers, the connections, and us just becoming... Fan, like close friends. Right. Any truth to the rumor that Beyonce and Jay-Z are coming here for the grand opening? I mean, if they pop up, it, <laughs> it, it will be an amazing time for us all. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, okay, who's the dead person over there in the corner? That would be Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
<laughs> Guys, take pictures so that she can say that this, that she was here. Have you seen the picture of Tom Hanks in the uh, pizza shop? There, no. it, it was. I mean, he he always he's a great guy, right? And apparently, there was somebody, some college kid, just absolutely drunk and fell face down in his pizza. Oh no! And he comes in. And he says, "Hey, give me his phone because he's never going to believe this stuff." Of course not. And, and so there's Tom Hanks with the guy's phone and his face is in the pizza. Can and you he takes imagine his well, his morning after? Scrolling through. Oh like, my gosh. <laughs> Ashley Scales, congratulations on this. This is exciting. Thank you. December 4th is going to be the grand opening here. 11 o'clock. Literally right under Target, looking directly across the boulevard to True Food Kitchen and Restoration Hardware. Yes. It couldn't be any easier. You park in the garage under Target, right. walk through the little breezeway. Free parking. And uh, you probably get three knocks on the back door. They'll probably let you in the back right. door. Right. You know, there's always a secret <laughs> entrance. <laughs> but reminiscentlux.com, R-E-M-I-N-I-S-C-E-N-T, lux.com. And I see there's scent in there. So that's... Yes, that, right? It's a play on words. That, that always works. But this is really a great place to come for your holiday shopping at the Annapolis Town Center. Ashley Scales, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for listening to this week's Local Business Spotlight. Please make sure to visit ionanapolis.net for all your local news, events, and opinion. And in case you haven't already, please subscribe to the Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief, where we bring you all the day's local news direct to your phone, tablet, or computer in about 10 minutes. It comes to you at 6 a.m. every Monday through Friday, and you can subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.